let's finish our gears review and so we were talking about the number of turns so for every one two turns for this for every one turn of that okay because this gear is smaller um, and so what that means is we're having to crank this twice and this only goes once so what benefit is that well here's the benefit you get in this situation you get a force advantage what that means is you are cranking with only five newtons of force for ten newtons here okay, even though you're cranking it twice around it's with less effort in this situation what if we reversed the handle so let's say let's take this handle off and let's put the handle here so uh, there's my handle let's put the box over here so now what happens is we have to crank this with 10 newtons of force but this goes faster so this in this situation if we put the handle on the big gear and this becomes the driver gear and this becomes the follower if that happens we'd have to crank with 20 newtons if the box is 10 if the box was 5 we'd have to crank with 10 newtons so we'd have to push harder but it would move fast okay because it's spinning for every one crank this this spins so we get a speed advantage in that situation uh, one other quick review I wanted to talk about with gears let's say we take a gear right now we would mesh it like this so we would say the gears are meshed what if we pull them apart and we attach a chain to them now well we call them something else they're called sprockets if they're pulled apart with a chain like on a bike they're not called gears they're sprockets now and let's talk about what happens when they're hooked up like this when they're meshed remember if this one goes clockwise or yeah clockwise then the this gear would go counterclockwise so two gears meshed together will go opposite directions so if this is clock and this is counterclock let's put another gear here what direction would it go well if this one's going counter this one will go clockwise so let's put another gear what direction will it go so if this one's going clockwise this one will go opposite so counter so when two gears are meshed they will always when when they're joined they're always in opposite directions except watch this situation when we pull them apart like a chain on a bike and they're now called sprockets they will now spin in the same direction so these both if this one went clockwise this one will go clockwise uh, so hopefully that helps you in your understanding about gears.